Hi, it's Mika Fast and Weight Loss, and today I am sharing my weight loss accountability. I'm doing intermittent fasting, OMAD one meal a day, and fasting for weight loss. And I started 210 days ago at 273 pounds, and today I'm going to show you what my weight is this morning. This week, Monday through Friday, we're doing a group fast and everybody decided what they're gonna do for Monday through Friday. Please let me know in the comments below, how did you do yesterday? And also I have the fa um, Amika Fasting Weight Loss Support Group. I wanna quickly explain how that group works and why people post and I have to approve them because we're only using it for accountability. Weight loss accountability is why I think I've lost 60 pounds and pretty much kept it off. Um, so in the group, you could do one post for the month of April. Well, we'll do it month by month, or you could just have one post. You put your starting weight, your goals, you put an introduction of yourself in your own post, what plan you're doing, and then each day or each week, you update everybody how you're doing and you commit yourself to keeping track of your progress on that post because everyone in the group is on the same mission of weight loss or health or both, okay? So yesterday I did OMAD one meal a day. I ate the same thing again, cauliflower, but I had chorizo for the first time ever. I had, I put cauliflower, ground beef and chorizo mixed together on top of the cauliflower steamed cauliflower, cheese, and pepperoni. I will do a video just showing the pictures of what I did for that casserole because I love it. I did not take a picture of sour cream and guacamole because that probably doesn't sound appetizing to people, but I also added that. That was my meal. I also made a dessert. I made a dessert. I put two eggs, almond flour, and Truvia, mixed it up, baked it in the silicone muffin cups, which I'm gonna put an Amazon affiliate link in the description in the comment. If you wanna support this channel, you can buy them through there. And I baked that about 10 minutes, and then I tried to make a frosting, major fail. You're not even gonna see frosting in the thumbnail picture because I mixed the Truvia brown sugar with pecans, butter, and coconut oil, okay? I should have had the confectioner's sugar, Truvia, or whichever brand they have. Um, that would have gave it a more creamy. Anyway, I got to figure out how to make that, but it still tasted good, and it was keto. Um, I did keto yesterday, <laughs> but I'm low carb, okay? And that's all I ate. That is all I ate. I'm so disappointed, so disappointed in what I did yesterday compared to what my weight is now. Okay, so then I went to my gym, my original YMCA gym. I did 58 minutes on the elliptical and there's a live stream for that. Then I drove to Planet Fitness because my gym closed at nine and I like my gym's elliptical. I do not like Planet Fitness's elliptical, it's way harder. Oh, and I burned like, I burned so many calories yesterday. This proves calories in and calories out is not all the way accurate because my one meal, I don't know how many calories it was, but there's no way it was over 1,500 to 2,000 calories. No way. Because um, that's all I ate. Um, so one hour of elliptical, basically, at the YMCA. Then I did the treadmill, um, 60 minutes of the treadmill at the Planet of Fitness, and I decided I'm gonna watch the entire Golden State LA Clippers game. The entire thing, I'm gonna be on the treadmill or the elliptical. So I did 60 minutes on the treadmill, and then I did 40 minutes on the treadmill. Then it was halftime. I was like, let me go get a massage and take a break, because this is a lot of working out. And then I came back, and it was, I don't know why it's only 40 minutes on the, 60, 60, no, I did 60 and 60 on the treadmill. I don't know, I, I mixed up what I said. On this, I said 58 elliptical, 60 treadmill, 
treadmill 40 and a liquid elliptical 40. All I know is I did about three hours or maybe two hours and 40 minutes the entire game, except for those 10 minute massage on the elliptical, the treadmill and then 40 minutes on the elliptical and Golden State lost. So there's going to be another game, game four, maybe game six, four, five, I think game six. Yeah. Now, is it too much exercise? No, it's not because I know what my body could take. And if I had a labor job, which I had in 2018, I worked at Amazon and I worked hard and fast for 12 hours straight. Even on my breaks, I had to walk clear across the building to a break room and clear across back and there was three breaks. So no, I don't believe that's too much at all. Like that's fine. If people have a labor job, they're doing that kind of walking all day long. I don't think there's a problem with that, okay? And I know I wanna eat large portions, so my exercise offsets that, but this weight does not reflect an amazing day. I'm very, very happy with what I did. Dang it, I should have said that this at the beginning because most people probably don't stay to the end. If you shoot for the stars and hit the moon, it's okay. But you've got to shoot for something. A lot of people don't even shoot. Confucius, love that. You have to try to shoot for the moon, to shoot for the stars, okay? And even if you come down here to your, if you don't make it to the stars and you hit something higher, it's still better than nothing at all. I love that. This is horrendous, but I'm okay. I did great and that's all that matters. I lost 0.4 and I was expecting like one, I was expecting probably two pounds because that was a lot of working out. Have a good day. Do your best. Do better than your best. Bye.